I pretty. Good evening, teacher. Yes. How are you? Fine. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Very good. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. Very good. So we're going to begin. I don't know where your classmates are, but I guess they are going to join in later. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah. have you, were you able to watch the platform today or yesterday? <laughs> uh, no, oh. teacher. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We can, we're, we're actually going to listen to the video. Yeah, yeah I, I forget it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Really, how come? <laughs> That's okay, Freddy. All right. Where where do you live, Freddy? Oh. I live in El Rosario, in La Paz. La Paz. All right. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. It's a city that is near to the airport. Right. Okay. Yeah. Very near. How's the COVID-19 over there? Have well, cases? we have, yeah, we have two cases. All right. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if you heard the news. Mm -hmm. About the, the the child that died. Yeah, no? yeah, the passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, it was the first case. Oh my goodness! All right. Here yeah. okay. now we have two cases. But, two more. Uh, right. Maybe the mother or the father is the second. All right. Case. Yeah, probably. Okay. Wow. You need to be careful, Perry. Well, we all do. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Gabriela. How are you? Everybody okay? Excellent. Very good. All right. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so, girls, I'm Freddy and Manuel. We're going to continue today with the third um, type of question that belongs to the reading section. Okay. And it's called simplification uh, questions. Okay. What yeah. they are wanting us to do is to make a summary of a sentence that is on the passage or on the reading text, okay? So we need okay. to like rephrase it in a way, but taking all the important information with us, not leaving the important information behind. So the other, again, here we have four choices. As always, we have A, B, C, and D. Three of them, they give you either or more information or inferred information that is not there that you say, mm, maybe out, or it gives you details that are not the main point. All right, so we need to find the, the answer. Sorry, there's a motorcycle going by. Uh, we need to find the answer that matches the information that we need to convey or the, the meaning that we need, the idea that we need to convey. All right, so that's the, the, the idea behind this type of question, okay? So in a way, look at it as I'm saying the same thing in a different way with all the important information. I'm not leaving anything behind, okay, that is important, okay? So with that, we're, this is what we're going to do today. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go right now to the platform to listen to the uh, video, which is an audio, all right? So it takes us through what uh, the question looks like, all right? What we're supposed to do, the skills that we should like improve, all right? And then we're coming back after the video, um, ask you to take pictures. What I'm also going to do, I'm gonna send a presentation. Mm, I can't because the answers are there. What we're going to do, I'm gonna share the pictures, all right? To the, uh, here on the chat that we have here on Zoom. So just in case some people sometimes have problems with the picture taking, all right? And then we're gonna go to the groups. We're going to read together as we did yesterday and the class before, all right? And together we decide which one is the right answer. At the very end, we come up again, we discuss which one do you think it is, why or why not? And then that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today, all right? Yeah, excellent, guys, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. As I said, we're going to go to the uh, platform right now. I don't know, Freddy told me that he was not able to uh, work on the platform or watch the video. I don't know if Nidia, Manuel, or Gabriela were able to do it. And Evelyn and Saida, did, were you able to watch the platform or not? Yes, I watched. 
Oh, you watched it. All right, very good. What about Nidia? Yeah, Nidia, did you watch it? Excellent, Nidia. Good job. All right. And Gabriela, Saida, and Evelyn, were you able to watch it a little bit? Yes. yes. Excellent, guys. Very good. Good job. All right. But anyway, we're going to listen to it again. All right. So we can talk about it. And if you have questions, you can ask me. So I'm going to share the um, audio, the audio, so you can listen to it. All right. So we can like be on the same page here. All right. So we have it. Let me know if you listen. All right. Okay. One tip to build your reading. Hold on, we're gonna begin it because I was listening to it. Inside. All right. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? Was there a special effect? <laughs> Hold on, guys. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Yeah. Inside the talk or reading section, especially the sentence simplification questions. Can you simplification questions. Yeah. Simplification questions ask you to identify a sentence that has essentially the same meaning as a sentence from the reading passage. And this the is what correct I was, answer this is what choice. I was telling you, all right. So what we need to do is to find another sentence from the choices given that is saying exactly the same thing. All right, from the reading passage that is highlighted as always, all right? Change the main ideas from the sentence in the passage, but may leave out minor or unimportant details. It should restate the most important information in a simpler way. All right, so if you notice here on the last point here, it says it should restate the most important information in a simpler way, all right? So it might be shorter than the the main one or the, the, the principal one, but it still, like it still says the same thing without leaving any essential information out, okay? You following me? Yes. Yeah, very good, thank you, all right. Sentence simplification questions are easy to recognize because the wording of the question is always exactly the same. Which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the following sentence? Incorrect choices, change the meaning in important ways, or leave out essential information. All right, so here what it's saying is this exa exactly what you're reading right now is going to be said on each and every question on this site. Every time you find this two uh, or these uh, phrases, you, you have to know and you have to identify them as simplification questions. Okay, so you say, oh, okay, so in this case, I know what I'm. Um, I have to do or what they want me to do. Sometimes when we, when we face couples the, the, the very first time, we really have no idea the type of questions. We really don't know what they're going to be asking from us, okay? So this is the idea behind it, to give you the type of questions that you guys are going to be facing. Not necessarily, you don't have to know the names, but at least you say, oh, okay, so these simplification questions, they want me to make it simple but to say the same thing without leaving important information out. All right, so that's the whole idea behind this course here. Let's go on. You need to remember something here. The highlighted sentence will have both essential and non-essential information. Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Answering this type of question will require you to understand the relationship between the pieces of information in the sentence. All right, so in a way, guys, these questions are not easy to solve because what you need to like understand everything that's going on without leaving the important information out, but also taking everything into account. All right, so your understanding for this type of questions, it needs to be like really, really like high so you know what they are asking and what they're expecting from you, all right? Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Because on the main one, <clears throat> or the one that is highlighted, they include everything. But you have to find on your answer choices the one that is saying the same thing, but maybe with not the same words. All right, so it's, it's kind of like tricky here, all right? Do you have questions so far? No questions, we're okay? <clears throat> we're understanding yes all right very good okay 
Often there's an important cause-effect relationship or there may be a conclusion based on some evidence. So look for those same ideas in the answer choices. Here's an example. This is exactly what the question on your TOEFL will look like, all right? If you notice, right at the top, or like the heading we can say, Gabriela, may you read that, please, where it says, which of the sentences? Which of the sentences below best express the essential information in the highlighted sentences? Mm -hmm. Incorrect choices change choices. the meaning. Choices change the meaning in important ways or leave out essential information. All right, so here, this is exactly how a couple question will look like, and that's exactly what it's going to say. All right, so as, once you face those kind of questions, you say, okay, so I need to find something that, a choice that is related to what is being highlighted without leaving the important information out, okay? Of course, that you think that in like a second, because remember that TOEFL, like the real TOEFL test, is timed, okay? So you have enough time to answer so many questions, and you have like about 50, 50 minutes to answer the complete reading section, all right? So here, uh, Lydia, can you read what we have here on the highlighted part of the sample question? Okay. The bulk of Kafka's writing was not pub published until after his curly death from tuberculos tuberculosis? Yes, yeah, tuberculosis, right. Okay, so from his early death, all right? So that's a highlighted word. Then you have the four choices. Can you read choice number, uh, letter A, uh, Nidia, please? Okay, A. It was not until after Kafka's early death from tuberculosis that the bulk of his writings was published. All right, Le option B. After the bulk of his writings was published, Kafka died an early death from tuberculosis. Ah, all right. What about C? After Kafka had written the bulk of his published writings, he met with an early death from tuberculosis. All right. And the last one? An early death from tuberculosis kept Kafka from publishing the bulk of his Writings. Right, all right. If you notice, we have the answer right below. It says choose A. Why do you have to choose letter A? According to this, it's because this is the only sentence that contains the same information as the first sentence. First, Kafka died, and then most of his writings were published. All right. Of course, this one, this is like math, guys. Sometimes when we take math classes, they the teacher usually shows you the easiest exercise. All right, but when it comes to the test, the exercises are a little bit more difficult, all right? So this is exactly the same thing. Here, it's not really so complicated, all right, to understand it. You say, yeah, I got it right. I thought it was letter A, all right, because it's not so complicated. But as we go on, and I'm going to show you some of the practices that we're going to do, they're not that easy to understand, all right? Do you have any questions about the example? You're okay? You understand the whole idea? Do you agree with the choice A? Then why should we cho uh, choice A? Guys, Saida, Gabriela, Freddy, you understand why? Or you're still like, no, I don't get it? Yes, I, yes, I understand. Yeah, you understand it. All right, perfect. Okay, very good. So this is a sample question. Again, this is from your platform anyway. So you can always go back and check it. Let's continue on here of a sentence simplification question from a passage. All right, I think that's pretty much what the video is about. One tip to build your reading right skills, which will also help you understand sentence simplification questions, is to look at a complex sentence or paragraphs and separate the main ideas from the less important information. Non-essential information can be things like examples or text in parentheses, or very specific information like numbers or dates. All right, so this is like an idea to help you out here, all right? So with that in mind, guys, we're gonna go back, I'm gonna stop sharing this, okay? And then I'm gonna show you the, we're gonna go on with the PPT here, all right? And here, simplification questions, which are the ones that's the topic that we are studying today. The type of question, remember that this is uh, question type number three. Tomorrow, which is the last day of our week, 
we're going to do the last type of question from the reading section. Right now we're only doing the reading section, all right? So here we have the video, which we already watched it, and then we have a sample. This is another one, all right? So, Freddie, do you mind reading the whole thing, please? Again, the answer is there, but I want you to read everything, Freddie, please. Okay. Read a passage, then choose the letter of the sentence that best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence. Incorrect choices change the meaning in important ways or leave out essential information. If you notice, it's the same instruction, all right? It's not gonna change. Go on, Freddie, please. Okay. Between the late 1920s and 1950, the Osborne Calendar Company produced a series of calendar featuring trains of the Pennsylvania Railroad up to um, 300,000 yeah. mm -hmm. of these featuring large, colorful scenes of trains <laughs> work were published each year to hanging depots and cheapers office along the lines of the famous railroad company. The scenes mostly painted by one artist, Griff Taylor, are now valuable, collectible. Collectible, all right? So the, the, the sentence that is highlighted from the, the passage here is the very last one. The scenes mostly painted by, by one artist, Griff Taylor, are now valuable, collectible. So what you have to do is you have to find from the four choices the one that best replaces it, all right, or summarizes it without leaving important information out. So, Freddie, go on reading. Letter A. The scene of trains, for the most part painted by Grief, by Grief Taylor, are collectible. Okay. Letter, letter B. The Osborne calendar series of train scenes are collector's items. Items. Let us see. Mm -hmm. Grip Taylor has a valuable collection of the Osborne calendar scene of train at work. Okay. Let us see. Grip Taylor's paintings of the pot and cheaper's office are valued by collectors. All right. So it's valued by collectors. Very good. So read the, the, the answer. A. Yes, the answer is A. You should choose A because the scenes of trains are valuable collectibles, all right? So on letter A, you summarize what is being uh, highlighted on the text. The scenes mostly painted by one artist, you were talking about only one person here, Griff Teller, are now valuable collectibles. All right, that's, that's what it's saying. The scene of trains, all right, that were painted by this guy, for the most part painted by Griff Teller, are collectibles. That should be your answer, letter A. All right. Although the other ones still talk about the same guy and about their about his work and everything, it doesn't really mention what we want to replace in a way. All right. So that's pretty much what we have to do. And here we have now we're gonna practice. Uh, these are very short, okay, and this is what you're gonna see. All right. This is pretty much what I want you guys to work on. Can you please, can you start taking pictures? This is gonna be question one or the exercise one. All right, of course the answer is not there because that's what you have to work on, all right? So please take a picture. That's number one, either you take a, a screenshot or you take it from your cell phone, doesn't matter. We ready? Yeah. All right, then number two, that's number two. Ready? Mm, give me a minute, please. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got it. Excellent. Number three. Ready? Yes. All right, yes. very good. Four. Ready? Yes. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 
next one. That's the next. Okay, the next one. Those are the last two. There are two there. All right, did everybody get the pictures? Yes. Or do you want me to repeat any or to go back to any of the slides so you can take it again? Please repeat. Which one? I don't know how many of them are. There are eight. Oh my God, I only have three. All right, let's see. Nadia, this is number one. Let me see. Which begins by the continent of Dread. Okay. All right, that's number one. Ready? Yes. Number two is the medical authorities. Ready, Lydia? Yes. Okay. Number three, female cowbirds. All right. Okay. Number four, the conflict between. Okay. Next one. Three, uh, three rings. That's number five, right? Then this is the next one. That would be number six. Johnson. A Japanese name. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> And the very last two. Yeah, those are the very last two here. That's number seven and number eight together. Got it? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Did everybody else get it? Did you guys get all the pictures? Freddy, did yes. you get all the pictures? Yeah. Manuel, did you get the pictures? Yes, I got it. Very good. Gabriela and Evelyn and Saida, did you get the pictures? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So here we go. So we're going to go to our groups right now. And what I want you to do is the same thing as we have done before. I want you to read, all right? And if you find a word that you don't know, it would be a very good idea if you have like a pen and a piece of paper to write your own vocabulary. That would help you a lot to improve your English, all right? So I do invite you to have a piece of paper and a pen ready so you can like always uh, write down a new word that you encounter, all right? We go, guys. We're gonna go right group. And we start joining your groups now.
Yeah. So, letter D. Yeah, okay. I, I think so. Okay. Number one, letter D. Yes. Letter. So, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, the second one. Yeah. Female cowbirds, which cannot sing, are no, non. Okay. Medical. Yeah. Sorry. Medical authorities have been reluctant to support the finding of some nutritionists that vitamin C, given in large doses, can prevent the common cold. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Medical authorities support nutritionists views about the value of vitamin C in preventing the common cold. Little B. Nutritionists have found that medical authorities are not in favor of using vitamin C to prevent to prevent sorry the common cold. Little C. Some nutritionists have found that large doses of vitamin C can prevent the common cold, but this has not been completely accepted by medical authorities. And the last one, letter D, according to nutritionists and some medical authorities, the common cold can be prevented by giving large doses of vitamin C. Mm. Letter A or D? We can't according to the nutrition. Mm. Nutrition. We can't some. Mm. Letter A. Yes, I think letter A. So number two, letter A. Mm -hmm. The next one. Yes. Letter okay. number three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Female. This is a, a difficult word to me. Female. Female. <laughs> Female. <No>. Female. <laughs> Female. Female. <laughs> Female. <laughs> Female converse with cowbird. Can... Cowbird. Cow, cow like cowbird. Uh -huh. Okay. Female cowbirds which cannot sing are nonetheless. Able to able 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 to teach some to their John by responding to a specific chirps chirps and, chirps and ignoring others. All right. Do you know what cow cow cowbirds are? Mm, I don't think it's a big a big cow flying, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, it's a small, a tiny little bird that, mm -hmm. that is called a uh, cowbird. In Spanish, it's a tordo. Um, it's, a, it's a bird. It's a small bird. Uh, you know what chirp is? Mm -mm. Chirp is the sound the birds make. Like beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. The chirping uh -huh. sound, uh-huh. Uh, all right, very good. So it's talking about birds and, and sound and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Even so, female COVID. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Saida. How are you doing? Hi. Fine. Number two. Number two, medical authorities. That's the one? Yes. All yes. right. Did you finish reading it already? Yes. Or, all right. Okay. We are discussed. Excellent. Okay. Very good. I'm not here. <laughs> I think that <laughs> that is number A because it said that medical authorities support the nutrition. I think. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. that is letter C. Mm, interesting. Yes, because mentioned that the the nutrition have found that there's dust, but is not. It's not don't have a proof that by the medical good. authorities yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you know Gabriel, if you notice Gabriela for for A, it says medical authorities support. 
nutritionist views, all right? It's already supporting, all right? But if you go back to the highlighted part, it says medical authorities have been reluctant to support. So they're not really supporting yet, all right? So letter okay. A cannot be because in that one, it says it is support, it's being supported already, but that's not true. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you either decide to go with choice C aside the set or if you have any other alternatives. Letter C. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Saida with choice C? Do you think that's the one that is correct? Yes. Yeah? Okay because it says if you if you read again the choice is some nutritionists have found the large doses of vitamin c can prevent the common cold that sentence is the same sentence of the very last line uh vitamin c given in large doses can prevent the common cold all right and then it goes on saying but but all right this has not been completely accepted by the medical authorities because they have been reluctant Okay. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job, Saida. Good, Gabriela. Nice. Very good. Okay. So, go on with number three. I want to listen to some of the reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, female cobras, which can now seen, are not less able to teach son to their young by responsibly to a by responding by responding by responding yes to a specific ships and ignoring others very good all right do you know what a cowbird no all right Saida, do you know what a cowbird is no all right yeah it's a little bird very very mm -hmm. tiny that in spanish is called tordo mm -hmm. like a little bird all right that it cannot sing all right mm -hmm. but however they can teach songs to their young to their babies all right do you know the word chirp you know what chirp is no Okay, is that is a sound the birds make the beep 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 um, of the birds? Uh huh. They chirp. Sound of bird. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. All right, go on, and then I'm gonna come back with you guys. Very good job on number two. Okay. Thank you. That is the four questions. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Nidia. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. Excellent. Very good. So I see that you guys are already on the very uh, last two, right? Are the number that six? Is the, number six. No. No, okay. the Nelle is the number three. Oh, I think you have you. Oh. Well, it's supposed to be number six. You say but that's okay. Yeah, that's num according to my notes here, it's number six. Number but that's okay. That's okay. I mean the number doesn't matter as long as we know what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. All right. So have you uh gotten the answer already for that one? No, no. We are beginning oh, you're it. doing it. Oh, okay, all right, very good. Yes. So I, I'll I'll listen to you read. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Do you want to read Manuel? Yes, no problem. You said Dai Sin is a Japanese Japanese art. The produce a living multicolor type of kimono design that does for the 17 countries first a patterns patterns is scheduled on the kimono of plain on and died and died. Line. And die sick. The garment is the talk. Is apart, then taken? Is they taken apart and the design carefully. But is, the problem is the, the, the imagine is a little boring. <laughs> okay, if you want, I can read. Yes. Okay. Yusen dyeing is a Japanese art that produces a lavish, multicolored type of kimono design that dates from the 17th century. 
First, a pattern is sketched on a kimono. Mm -hmm. Sketched on a kimono of plain, on dyed silk. 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 The garment is then taken apart and the design carefully painted onto the fabric with a paste that prevents the fabric from absorbing dye. Next, dyes are brushed over the silk, their colors penetrating only the untreated areas. After the paste is rinsed out, the stri stripes or strips? The strips. The strips of silk are again sewed so mm -hmm. into the kimono. Elaborate embroidery often completes the decoration. Okay. Excuse me. A. The paste keeps the unstitched garment together while the fabric is absorbing the colors. B. The dye is prevented from being absorbed into the fabric pieces by the paste that covers the design. Mm -hmm. C. The design is painted onto the pieces of garment with a paste that keeps the dye from destroying the design. Mm -hmm. D. The design is painted onto the fabric in places where the paste does not prevent the paint being absorbed by the garment. Mm -hmm. For me, the letter B. For you, the letter B, Manuel? Yes, for right. the body is prevent for the design absorbing into the fabric pieces by the paste that cover the design. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you think, Nidia? I think it could be D. All right. The design is painted onto the fabric in places where the paste does not does mm. not prevent. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, here it says does not prevent, yeah. and not yes. on the passage is saying no, right? Is is it could be the B? The dye is prevented yeah. from being absorbed into the fabric pieces by the paste that covers the design. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. That's yes, the right. Yes, yeah, the one. Very good. It's B. Good reading, yeah. Nidia. Very good reading. Thank you. Yes, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very good, Manuel. B. Thank Excellent, you. Manuel. Yes. Very good. <laughs> okay. The next uh, one, which one is Manuel? Let me see. I try to show the, the, the photo. Mention about the tree and letter D, yes, affect trees. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, because the letter C is talking about of the earthquakes, mm. and the letter D uh, is talking a little about the that affect yeah. trees. Yeah, Direct. you finished reading that one, the tree rings. Uh, yes. Yeah, all right. So, what's the answer? Mm, we think letter letter D. <laughs> Letter B. Mm, all right, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. So no. <laughs> uh, no. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay, let let uh, we, uh, let's Here read it see. here. Okay, hold on. It says tree rings have long been used to determine the ages of trees and gauge past cl uh, climatic conditions. New evidence adds considerably weight to the history. To, sorry, to the theory, the tree rings also record earthquakes. The rings reflect the effects of earthquakes, such as tilting, the disruption of root systems, and breakage, as well as shifts in environments. All older trees are petrified. Trees may give information about earthquakes, but took place hundreds and even thousands of years ago. So let's see the choices. Letter A, the effect of earthquakes on trees can be, tree, uh, can be seen in tree rings, all right? 
B, earthquakes cause a lot of damage to tree in the environment, all right? The effect of, that's like, that would be like inferring, right? I believe that would happen. So letter B is not a choice because it doesn't really say that. The effect of earthquakes are tilting, disruption of root system, breakage and shift in environments. So here they are not really talking about the tree rings, they're talking about the earthquakes. Mm -hmm. So that cannot also be, because we're not talking here, we're not discussing about the earthquakes itself, and we're talking about the tree rings. So letter B mm -hmm. and letter C, forget it, okay? Letter D, that's your choice, right? <laughs> Tilting, disruption of root system, breakage and shifts in the environment are examples of how an earthquake affects trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rings uh, reflect the effects of, all right, the rings reflect the effects of earthquakes such as tilting, the disruption of root system and breakage as well as shifts in the environment. Mm. All right, so for you, letter D. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, uh, Freddy? So for you, is letter D for sure? Um, yes, I think because it's most specific information uh, comparing with the A, mm -hmm. but um, I just have a detail in the mm -hmm. D that okay. here we uh, it just talking about the tree, but it's not directly in about the rings. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just oh, we are talking. Mm -hmm. Just in tree in general, but in not in general. The uh huh. Right. Okay. So that leaves us with choice A. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you know what? It, this is a little bit tricky because the sentence. I mean, the right choice is very short, but it summarizes everything. You don't have to Ooh. like be mentioning every single thing again because. The the, what you want is a sentence that summarizes the main point in like short. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and that, taking that into account, the, the, the best choice is letter A. The effects that earthquakes in general on trees can be seen, that you see that happening on tree rings. And we're here, we're talking, if you read the whole passage, they're not really talking about earthquakes, but they're like the main point here are the tree rings. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Pretty much? A little okay. tough, eh? Yeah, that's what Topol is about. You know, Evelyn and Freddy, it's, it's difficult because here we have like an hour to discuss one question. But once you face Topol in real life, you have to face 20 questions in 50 minutes. Oh. All right? So then you go crazy and say, oh, I don't know, right? <laughs> but that's what it is. I mean, Mm -hmm. But you know what? This is good practice. I mean, the more you practice, the easier it gets and the more familiar you become. Because what happens is most people, we go, we take TOEFL for the first time and we have no idea whatsoever what's going to be about. All right. So mm -hmm. the whole idea here behind this is for you to practice one and for you to know what type, the type of questions, how to face them, how to practice them. All right. And how, what you should take into account and what not. All right, so that's the whole idea behind this. All right, yes. yeah, very good. Good job, guys. Good. <laughs> Go on, keep on working. Okay. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Saida. Letter B, my. Hi. How are you doing? Which question are you working on right now? Uh, the, the, Jap the Japanese one. Yes. The kimono one. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. That one. All right. Did you finish reading it already? Yes. All right, so what was the answer for you? We are not sure. Okay, so what are your choices? Letter, letter B. Uh huh. Or, or that's the only one? Do you have any other choice besides the B, or that's the one that you feel that does, does the most uh, accurate response? Yes, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Now, why do you think is letter B? Because uh, mm -hmm. says that the prevent of the the absorption of the dye, the dye, mm -hmm. and in a little pieces. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I'm not sure. No, but it is. It's right. Letter choice B is the one. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Yes. All right. Do you know what the word in the first sentence of that reading is? Dying is a Japanese art that produces a lavish multicultural type of kimono. Do you know what lavish is? No. It's like luxurious, like fancy. Like, nice. wow, like nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, girls. You're doing super good. Thank you. Very good. Nice. Okay. Number. Let me see if I can. No, here, no. Okay. There we go. Let me see if I can. Can you see it? Manuel? Yes, I see the, the question. Okay. Tree rings have long been used to determine to determine the age of trees and to gauge past climatic conditions. New evidence adds considerable weight to the theory that trees, tree rings, also record earthquakes. Ooh. The rings reflect Ooh. the effects of earthquakes, such as uh, such as tilting, the disruption of root system and breakage, as well as shift in environments. All the trees are petrified trees. All trees and petrified trees may give information about earthquakes that took place hundreds and even thousands of years ago. Interesting. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yes. So the possible uh, choices, answers? Choice, yes. A, the effects of earthquakes on trees can be seen in the rings. B, earthquakes cause a lot of damage to trees in the environment. C, the effects of earthquakes are tilting, disruption of root system, breakage, and shift in the environment. D, tilting, disruption of root system, breakage, and shift in environments are examples of how an earthquake affects trees. Mm -hmm. it reflects the effects of earthquakes such as. The rings reflect the effects. What do you think? Mm, for me, the letter A. Mm -hmm. Yes, can be letter A. Why? It is generic. Uh, yes, Manuel. First, you first, no problem. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, it's generic, but it uh, involves all the. That's right. It summarizes everything. Yes. Yes. You know what? It may be confused. Some people get may get confused with choice D because it's like um, giving the like examples of everything, right? Tilting, disruption, root system, breakage, and blah blah blah, whatnot. But it says the effects on trees. Oh, we're not talking about that. All right. So that one, that from the four choices, that one is really like make people think twice about it's either A or it's either D. 
All right, but yeah, you, go, you guys got it right, is the letter A. The effect of earthquakes on trees can be seen in tree rings. That's the whole point of it. As you said, Nidia, it summarizes everything in one simple sentence. All okay. right, good job. All right, we're gonna go back right now because I need to go and teach another class. Yes. Yeah, all right, time flies. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, Manuel. Hi guys, everybody's back with me here. All right, very good. So what we're going to do just because I don't know if you have the same uh, numbers as I did, just check. I was checking in all the groups, but I just wanna make sure that we have all the right answers. So for this one that says the continental drift theory, all right, the answer for that one, what do you guys have for that one? Everybody or anybody? That was the very first one. Check there, what's your answer? Your answer should be letter B, okay, for B. this one. B, as in baby. Oh. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, for this one, medical authorities, that would be uh, choice C, that's the correct one. <laughs> All right, so remember that here uh, they have the, the, um, the medical uh, authorities, they are reluctant. They haven't approved anything yet, okay? So that's why it says, oh, some nutritionists have found that large doses of vitamin C can prevent the common cold. Perfect, that's the very last sentence of the highlighted part. But it also says, but this has not been completely accepted, all right? And if you go back to the highlighted part, it says medical authorities have been reluctant to support, they haven't support yet. All right, so that would be letter C. For female cowbirds, all right, guys, cowbirds are little birds, all right, that, that's their name. No se imagine que son vaca voladoras. Cowbirds, all right. Uh, what would be the answer for that one, guys? Anybody? Letter A. Letter A, very good, all right. Even though female cowbirds cannot <laughs> sing, they teach their chicks to do so by responding to specific chirps and ignoring others. Chirp is the sound the bird makes. The pee 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 thing. That's the chirp, all right? All right, very good. The conflict between those who wish to conserve, blah, 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 blah. That would be choice A, the right one, okay? Choice A. Then let's go to the next ones. I think I have them here. The tree rings, that one, that one, that was a very um, interesting um, paragraph. Uh, the tree rings, what is the, uh, Anidia, what was the answer that you decided with Manuel? Or Manuel, give me the answer. Letter A. That's right, letter A, all right? With the tree rings is letter A, all right? So here we might be confused with letter D because that's the, that's the idea, to trick you, all right? But as Nadia said, letter A summarizes everything. All right, very good. Then we have the dying of Japanese art. All right, so that one we have, hold on, what did I do there? What's the, what's the answer for that one? Uh, we have letter B, the dye is prevented from being absorbed into the fabric pieces by the paste that covers the design, all right? So again, you need to read all of them carefully. For example, letter D cannot be because it says does not prevent. I know where in the passage it says a negative statement or a negative uh, idea here, all right? So they cannot be. And the last two that we have here for uh, number seven or the looking flat tail, the answer would be letter B or choice, uh, yeah, a choice B, all right? And if pearls are protected properly, that's the very last one, the, uh, the answer is letter C, all right? Again, as soon as we finish this, like in a couple of, like a minute or two, uh, I'm gonna send a presentation with the answers included so you can always go back, reread, all right? And I said, oh, okay, so this is, and try to find 
the meaning of it and the answer of it. I mean, just not because it says it's letter, the choice is B, the correct one, you have to, you have to agree with it, all right? The, the idea is for you to study it, to reread everything, to read the choices again, and then kind of come up with your own conclusion and say, oh, okay, this is why, all right? So try to do that as, a, as an assignment here. All right, guys? Okay. Well done, very good. All right, who got eight out of eight? Nobody? No. no. Seven no. out of eight? Seven, seven, seven? No. no. All right, six? Four. Four, all right, well, you passed it. <laughs> very good, all right. I mean, guys, as I was telling Freddy and, um, uh, Evelyn, right? Don't worry so much about not getting it right or not right now. That this is the idea behind this course is to practice and practice and practice. And you will have an advantage of other people because at least if you actually take this exam, you will know what to expect. Usually we go to take this exam and we have no idea what it's about. All right, and that's a disadvantage that we face. But right now, at least you will say, okay, I know what this is gonna look like. I know the type of questions. I know in a way what to do, and let's try to see if we pass it or not, all right? Thank you so much, okay. class. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? So tomorrow we start evaluating the type of reading questions for this uh, course, all right? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. I'll send the presentation right away, all right? Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.